This is my interpretation of the music video Lust for Life. It is a bit complicated, but something I saw in this music video was that this girl was always alone. The person that the weekend represent didn't exist in reality. I know it sounds a bit strange, so let me clarify it for you. You will at first see a cosmic place, and after a few seconds, when they zoom out, you will then realize that they were actually showing inside of her eye, and it wasn't in the space as it seemed to. This means that the whole universe existed in her spiritual eye. You will see her giving you a mocking smile, as if she gives a hint of knowing something. Then you will see this character singing. It is obvious that they are singing about the life in Hollywood. We imagine it to be something it is not. I think that this music video is representing every star that has struggled through the journey of Hollywood. It is a dangerous place to work in, as she is trying to tell us with her body language through the hand gestures. She is trying to warn us by imitating the sign for danger. When looking into the lyrics at this part, I see that she is struggling to earn fame and money. But she is still in a controlled state of mind, that's why you hear words as do it and shut up. She must act and present a reality that's not true. That's why she is saying keeping me hot like July forever. But then she sang something she wasn't supposed to. She was placed there to entertain and make the masses to go mindlessly in another direction. She revealed to the listeners the power each and every human mind holds. Because once we realize the true power we hold, we can go anywhere in life instead of following the herd. She put her life at great risk when doing this, so she had to run away from the stage performance. She is climbing up in the hierarchy of Hollywood with the help of this person that protects her. That someone that had helped her to see the reality is probably another star that had tried to convince the masses through his musical career before. He is not someone existing today. He is probably dead. But he has left guidance in his work. He was assassinated because he got caught of doing so. Notice that he even sings, they say only the good die young, and that just ain't right. That means even if these good people die young, their effort to change is still alive through their work. She is taking off the layers of mind control that was forcefully fed to her mind throughout the years. It is called clothes in this song, therefore take off the clothes. They are building a ship out of her removed layers. It is a tool to discover new places in life and gain freedom because we are just as they say in this song, the masters of our own faith. We are the captains of our own souls. They are basically saying, let's take control of our own lives now, instead of living in a matrix created to imprison you. Notice that he's wearing shades that are reflecting back. What he is trying to say by this is that no brainwashing program will work on him anymore, because he will reflect it back to those owning the game. And you will see this female character testing those as well, and it is a hint that she also learned to reflect it back. This part is so powerful, it is too obvious, I don't even have to explain it. In short, they are basically saying, once they have decided to tell us the truth, they are putting their own lives at risk. They are trying to tell us indirectly about the reality we don't see until they get caught and get eventually assassinated. There is this group that work like this, I won't mention any name because people are easily judging this group based on misinformation. And then, you will see her run away. It looks like she is running away from the illuminating moon. It could mean that she is trying to run away from someone controlling the system we are living in. The last part where you see her gliding out of the Hollywood is the part representing the death of her. She knew she will get assassinated for revealing something, but she did it anyways to save humanity. And it was like jumping out of the window, but she did it mindfully with intention to save humanity. The end scene is quite strange, because she is dying alone, and the only explanation for that is that he was already dead. They meet again in a meadow with yellow flowers, representing paradise, and you will at the end see our earth with a peace sign of light. This is the goal, awakening of the inhibitors of the earth. What do you think about my theory? Do you have a different one? Please let me know by comment. Hit the like button and subscribe if you wish to see more videos like this. Thank you for viewing.